Welcome back guys. Today, we're gonna be working on the brake lines for the GTO, 65 GTO. So I have basically probably 90% of what I need at least. But you can see all the hard lines that are just gonna go back into these little clips here. And they're all along the frame. Even for that long one, you know, I'll hit that guy there. This one here is all jacked up. I don't really remember that being messed up when I was messing with it, but I suppose it is what it is. That one's good. That one's good. And then back up here to connect the, uh, and I have my little, uh, what do you call it? Just my little rubber connection piece there sticking out, coming through the back. Just put a little hole through that. I've still got plenty of meat here to add any bracing if I need to in the future. So that's kind of my solution as opposed to running like a 90 and out and around. I didn't really want to do that with the brake lines. But I got this kit from inline tube. It's all pre-bent. The problem I had with the rear though, you see that rear end over there? It's The lines are pre-bent for that rear end. And this is obviously a strange rear end. It's a completely different setup. So this is the stock one or the the way the pre-bent one came from inline tube and then I had to modify this one as you can see to make it a little more basically to fit the rear end and I'm still not done because I mean you can see how far off this is so what I, what I want to do is get this thing in then kind of bend this over and see you know exactly how the best way to do this is once I get this other one done as well and I think I can kind of use that one as a template to bend this one, but I've just been using my little uh, tubing bender here. This guy here and a uh, tape measure to get my stuff going. And it's just, it's tedious, man. I'm trying to straighten out some of the kinks on this one that I don't need. I've been using my little, uh, my little vise over here. Excuse the mess on my table. I've been reorganizing my tools, but so I just put the line in here like that and kind of straighten it out a little bit. Just apply gentle pressure. You know, you obviously don't want to crush the tube, but so that's it's a little sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I got to get those lines, get this one uh, bent up to match that one to a degree. Get these lines installed. Get the block in the uh, what's that thing called? Portioning valve, I guess get these guys hooked up on the front and then we should be pretty close brake wise I mean it's obviously the brake system is far from complete I still got to do the master and all that stuff but I just want to get all the lines installed under the car before I put the body on before it goes out to body and paint and I think I found a paint and body guy that's gonna work well for me but he's about two or three weeks out which is you know no problem for me everybody else has been telling me six months to two years so yeah I basically just need to get these lines installed into the tracks and then start doing the little hookups and stuff and we'll move forward and kind of take you guys along for the ride and we'll see how it goes so stay tuned guys just want to show you something real quick when I'm putting these front uh, lines together here so they have uh, I'm sorry I don't know the ter the proper terminology for this but I'm not sure if my camera will focus if you can see in there you can see a little hole towards the back where I'm pointing with the camera maybe see that hole in there and then I have the see the sharpie mark there in line with the hole hopefully you can see that so this bolt has that little hole right there and I believe this hole needs to line up with that hole so I have this one marked on top as well with my sharpie so I basically just need to make sure they line up perfectly when I'm tightening this and these shouldn't go too tight anyway so I mean they have the little crush copper washers that'll go in between you know one on one goes on this side and then the other goes on the bottom side Actually, these may be a little big, but I have a uh, smaller ones here that I think I'm going to use. So these will go, you know, just like I showed you with those one on each side of this, and then I'll line up the marks, and then my brake fluid should flow as it's supposed to. Just wanted to give you guys a quick, just show you that real quick.
All right, guys. Got the lines on. That front one is done. Let's see if I can show you. You see my marks there, how they line up, hopefully. Maybe. So this mark here lines up with this mark here. So hopefully those holes should be facing each other from the screw and then from the, the line itself. So that should pass brake fluid through to the caliper there and allow me to stop. I'll have to do the exact same thing on the other side. I just want to show you guys that one. I'll just do the same thing. This side over here should have that, what should we call it, proportioning valve I just had in my hand. Second, this guy here. So there's this proportioning valve that I believe should sit like this. I'm just gonna have to figure out how to mount that to the frame the best way. And maybe, see how those lines come together? That's not ideal for this block. So I'm gonna have to figure out, I may have to end up cutting those lines and you know, bringing them back so they fit correctly on here. But we'll see, I still need to get a little fitting for the back here, because that's too big for this line. It's like a 9 16 to a 3 16 so. I still have to do that. That's my little piece that'll come off of here, catch this front brake. But yeah, as you can see, lines are looking pretty good. I have no idea why that bumps out like that, but it does. I don't think it's gonna interfere with anything, so I'm not worried about it. That one's run up there to the back, whoops, like that. Comes out here, and I actually think this one's gonna be okay. If you can see, I can hold the camera and the thing here, maybe. See, that's just gonna come down like that, and it should be fine. So I'll just kind of mirror that one for the other side. Get those hooked up, get my extra fittings, and then kind of see exactly where this is gonna sit once I get my fittings right and end up, you know, figure out where I'm gonna mount that because that's gonna obviously matter too on where I cut those lines back if I have to, which like I said, it's, it's kind of looking that way. And there's a couple of these clips here, as you can see, that are just old and trashed. I think I'm gonna replace these. And there's one that's even missing up here. You know, if I can find like that one there, I don't know if that matters, honestly, the way that kicks out, but these seem to be fine. The bigger ones back here, that little guy there, but I may just order a few, a handful of those and replace some of these, but I got everything in place, so it should be good. Should be an easy job. So yeah, let me go ahead and grip that fitting, figure out where I'm gonna mount it, and then I'll be right back with y'all. guys got the little back line done here I still I need something to kind of mount this to keep it steady I mean the lines will hold it to a degree but they're just I don't know I don't know if I almost feel like I should have some little tab or something connecting this to the rear end but there's no good spot to put it I don't really want to weld a tab on there or maybe come from here you know back and up but I'll figure that out that's pretty much it as far as I'm going to get now. I have to put the body back on the frame to get it over to the um, the body guy. But that's pretty much it. And I also found this proportioning valve with my master cylinder. So I think this is going to go up, you know, here or wherever when the body's on next to the master cylinder. And I'm going to have to route these and extend these to get them up to that. I don't think I'm going to mount it here. That other one I was showing you, the, the brass one, but... So I think that's what's going to happen here. So I'm not going to be able to get these tightened up yet, but I want to get the body on and get the master cylinder set up after the car gets painted to kind of see exactly where those lines need to go. But I got them under the car for now, so that should be fine. I shouldn't have to work around too much under there to mess with these brake lines. And as you can see, I've got all the little uh, bushings here. You see that just goes in that hole like that. And then I just have to get the body back on the frame, clamp it down, and then get it over to the paint body guy. He'll probably pull it right back off, do all he needs to do under it with the floors and everything, get it mounted back on, get the cage done, and then uh, we should be ready for paint, and then get it back in the shop and start putting the drivetrain and everything else together, the interior and all that. So, so yeah. 
stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching. Please continue to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.